Thank you so much for joining me. You are appreciated. The first card I picked up, and it's funny because a few signs have been getting this card, is a higher power. And this means that the universe is working with you in March to help ease some of your load, to help ease your pain, to give you fortune, to bring about good positive experiences. You're going to be feeling overall blessed, overall good, overall this energy of good things happening to you. There is a higher power that is performing for you in March. Not that it always isn't, but they're letting it be known. Pay attention to these miraculous miracles and wonderful things that come through for you. All right, so that was awesome. Now let's take a look. What else do we have for Leos for March of 2022? I can't believe it's 2022. It's crazy. crazy. Leos, only the most accurate messages, please. For March of 2022. What can they expect? Ooh, there's something with a sense of urgency. You got to hurry up and do this. Maybe you're just feeling antsy or urgent to do stuff, or maybe you got more energy, but for, and it's going to be different for all of you. Remember, these are general. There's a lot of you, okay? But this is telling me that there's something that may pop up that needs to be handled quickly and urgently. Now, I'm going to clarify these to find out more. It could be somebody urgently needs to contact you. It could be you urgently need something. But the but something has is, is a pressure cooker or something has a time limit, okay, that needs to be dealt with. But I wouldn't worry about it, Leo. Let your needs be known. Let's take a look and see... What else for Leo? I'm going to clarify that and find out, okay? Ooh, is there something that you've been going round and round and round and round about? I feel like a lot of you have been thinking a lot, exploring a lot, seeing a lot. Woo, a lot of woo, a lot of wows and woes. I don't know where that came from. Um, but round and round is something that that you may be feeling like you're seeing. Maybe you feel like you're in a cycle. Maybe you feel like you've been stuck in a cycle for some of you. Or maybe you feel like things are just been repetitive, okay? Or there's something that's been going round and round about that you're gonna feel an urgent need to just be like, I can't go in circles anymore. I'm not the hamster on the wheel or whatever. But I'm gonna clarify that to find out as well. But it's telling me you've been seeing a lot of the same things or even going in circles with your, you know, going in circles over something or, or in circles with someone. All right, time to go. Time to go right up those stairs and right through that new door. Okay? There's something that you got to just really understand that you could take to the next level. And I just heard this. You can take it to the next level, even though this card could mean leaving something behind giving something up, but I'm not getting it. I'm getting, it's time for you to take that step through that door, whatever that means to you. It could be that new job. It could be putting your stuff out there. It could be, it's like there's a new, there's a whole new little dimension over here waiting for you to go through. Like totally, come on, let's go. And look at, she's running up the stairs to go. Like I'm out of here, okay? So for some of you, there may be a situation that you gotta let go of and really just be like, I gotta let it go okay it could be a disturbance somebody upset you somebody whatever it could be a situation that you're just been stuck in this round and round okay it's gonna be different for all of you these are these general readings are tough because there's a lot of situations but the first thing I got is go take it go to that door go do it go just it's time to go and it's like with this card she's like running up the stairs to go through that door like it you know so you could be leaving a situation behind and going into a new place leaving a job behind going to a new job starting a new project and just going and taking it to the next level or just letting go of something that's just time to go with okay you know what it means for you it's going to be different for all of you but i will clarify it all right one more for leo's march 2022 time to take a risk too for some of you Put your stuff out there. Take that opportunity. It's like weird, but I'm getting this like really good vibe from that. Leo. 
time to get out of a situation. For some of you, it's like a work situation. It's like, it's like time to go, bing, run out that door, get that new job. I'm just telling you, it's something like that. Think about how that resonates with you. One more for Leo's, March 2022. Yeah, you're going to have a new life. Some good news is coming to you. You're going to be feeling really good. This, this what I'm getting is her doing this. <laughs> Truly. Like you just going, yes! Like, yes! Like, okay? Some good news is coming to you. Some of you are literally going to be feeling like new energy. The wind has changed and there's new energy coming. A lot of you are starting a new cycle or there's start something coming up that's going to make you feel like this is new. And it's going to make you feel really, really good. Some of you, it's literally a new life. Moving out, getting married, moving out into your new place, starting your new job. Some of you, it's like that, okay? But it's different. You're going to be feeling really good about this news that's coming through. Leo, this is freaking awesome. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start clarifying. Now, don't forget, you got a higher power. Ask for what you want working for you. There is a higher power at your assistance to help you all month. <laughs> all right, so let's take a look at this round and round for Leos. Can you tell me about the round and round for Leos, please? You guys probably know what that is. It's anything that you've been going in circles with and not getting an answer or clarity on. <laughs> or something like that, okay? Okay, I just lost half the deck here, so I'm not gonna, I, I, didn't, I can't go through that and figure that out. Let's do round and round again, please, for Leo's. Some of you, this has been going on with a younger air sign, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, sun, moon, or rising. Maybe you've been going in circles with this person regarding a conversation, a situation, whatever it is for some of you it's somebody you've been you work with and some of you it's definitely a love relationship that you've been going round and round with okay that i feel like they're going to start appreciating you more in march they're going to start being nicer to you, appreciating you. This is also working together in collaboration. And we got the Ace of Cups, so a love relationship at work. Could be a love relationship at work for some of you, okay? That you've been going round and round with, literally. Okay? But there is going to be some sort of clarity, communication coming through on that. But it's with the Ace of Cups, so it's definitely romantic in some way or heavily emotional. And it looks like it's somebody you've been working with that you've been going round and round with on something. So it could be a partner, somebody at work, a coworker, or somebody like that. But the Ace of Cups tells me it's, it could be somebody at work you're interested in. That you've been, they're, they're going to start appreciating you more, paying attention to you more, and even working better with you more is what I'm getting, depending upon whether this is a... Uh, a work love affair a work love affair for sure some of you might be starting one that you've been going round and round with so take it how it resonates for you what is this TikTok about for Leo but I feel like if you're working with this love interest they're going to be appreciating you more working together better with you and maybe not arguing with you so much on something or not or being more clear about their intentions it's very different for all of you but this is a love interest you're going to see the better side of them in some way and some of you are going to see more love more appreciation okay so the TikTok for leos please Some of you feel a sense of urgency for a better life. Clearly, this is having more than enough of what you need. And there's a TikTok right here where you're like, I need this now. 
I want to hurry up and have everything that I need and want. I don't blame you. I'm the same way. But I feel like there's something, and this could be also a person that has a lot of money or is established that is pressing you for something. Let me get one more because... Some of you feel a sense of urgency to end something, okay? That's left you feeling sad because you want to be happy. But others of you, I feel like there's somebody that feels a sense of urgency to contact you and be with you because they miss you, they regret something, or they're afraid it's going to end if they don't. Or you ended it and they feel like there's a sense of urgency to, to contact you. And this person might be established, successful in some way. Somebody that has a lot of creative talents, a lot of abilities, that's very capable. And it could be somebody you've manifested and maybe you don't even realize it. But they're going to do whatever it takes because they want to be with you. Yeah, and this is the person of the card of the person, the, the single male that's got it all or the guy that's got it all. And, and that came in with this TikTok. So they feel like there's a sense of urgency because they miss you or they have regrets and they're afraid it's going to end or you ended it with them either way. But they're going to do what it takes to make this work with you. For some of you, this is this person at work. This work, if you're starting a new affair. For others of you, it could be somebody else. Wow. Let's take up this time to go. For Leos. What is this time to go for? It's definitely something that you guys are going to start either financially, that can make you money, to go through that door, a new job, a job opportunity, something that you want to put out there. It's going to it's going to bring you to a new place by you doing it. Whatever that means to you guys, like something monetarily starting a new a new money project, a new creative money project, okay? Yeah, it's going to take off. It's going to take off. That's why they're telling you, it's time to go and do it. It's time to go and do it is what it should have said. But that's what I'm getting clearly. Take that new job. Go through that new door. Run out of that place that you're in that you don't want to be. Whatever, it's something like that for you guys, okay? Like literally run out of there and go because this new door right here with this new budding project, money-making project, it's going to be fierce, okay? And maybe that's why it's leading to this new life. Now, it could be a new job. If that new job is going to bring you a new life, too. Maybe some of you are miserable at your job. Let's see. Definitely part of that is what it is. Take this new job, put your new products out there, push it up, just go through it and you're going to have a new life. Now we also have two people showing up here, an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, Sun, Moon, or Rising, or an Emperor, or the, the Lord. Okay, this is a powerful person, usually prestigious in some way, has a lot of money, stable, runs a business, you know, whatever, strong presence maybe could have powerful strong energy and this is an Aquarius Libra or Gemini Sun Moon or rising and you got two of these people showing up in your reading 
and and it could be coming with that new life as well for a lot of you making a decision between one of these two can you tell me about the air sign for some of you this could be one person but the Lord is usually somebody powerful So coming up with this air sign, we got the eight of cups in reverse, which means this is leaving something you put a lot of emotions and feelings into, and this is not wanting to do so. And it came in with this air sign. So some of you don't want to leave an air sign or this air sign doesn't want to leave you. But it's like, some of you might be dealing with two people. We got the strength card coming in with not wanting to leave. Like, it's going to take a lot of courage to leave this air sign. Or you left them and you want to go back to them. And it's and you're, you've got the courage to do it. Or they left you and they want to come back to you. Okay, the energies go both ways. You'll find out how it is. But... Tell me about the, the Lord, how, how it fits you. It's going to take some courage to leave this person or or this person left you and they're coming back and they got the courage now to approach you and come back. It's an air sign person. Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, Sun, Moon, or Rising, but it doesn't have to be. It's just somebody that's difficult to catch, difficult to pin down. Let's check out this Lord. Or it's somebody that... The Lord could be a father figure. It's somebody usually prominent, strong, in charge. They have a very, you know, firm kind of personality. Or they're, they're powerful in some way. Or wealthy. Or run a big business. Something like that. They're just... They're definitely financially stable, too. We got him with the king of swords. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, sun, moon, or rising. Could be a father figure or a boss. What about this? Or it's two separate people. Leo, what's going on? We got justice. doing the right thing, wanting to do the right thing, wanting to make something right with you. Some of you literally could, okay, this remember, there's a lot of you. You're not all involved with the same person. Thank God. And these could be two separate people, but I'm getting a, you know, a similar energy. It could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising, or an Aries with Earth, planets, but this person's financially stable and in power, okay? They either want to make things right with you, commit to you, get serious with you, sign you on a bonus contract. Um, if they're your boss, they want to, they're going to do something right for you or they're going, they want to make something right for you or they want a commitment with you. Or you have to make a choice because the balancing of the scales between the two. <laughs> Sorry, Leo, this is crazy. Okay. There's a lot going on here for you guys. And it could be, some of you, a job in legal. I'm going to throw that out there. A legal department of some sort. Yeah, some of you have been trying to block it off or block them out or blot them out. Or, or they've been doing that to you. Or this person's protective of themselves and they keep people out. But what is ultimately coming through on this? What is this about? 
For some of you, it's somebody who wants a commitment with you, wants to marry you, that's pretty established and well off. And maybe they block people out or they keep people out or you've been blocking them off or keeping them out for whatever reason or protecting yourself in some way. But then we got the two of wands making a choice between two people, passionate things. Now it could be two different jobs, two different people. Now we got two people here. So for some of you, it's two different jobs with two different people. You're trying to make the decision. Some of you, it's two people you're trying to choose from. Sorry, Leo. But somebody here wants to commit with you and wants to start something new or they want to offer you a new job. That's going to be substantial because we've got the Ace of Pentacles on that along with the Justice. Fair pay. Um, and maybe you got to choose between two jobs here. Others of you, this is a person, could be somebody at work, could be a person, two, two people you're trying to choose between. Good Lord. But you got a choice here. Those of you that that resonates with, I wish you all the best. So let's get some um, advice cards on that. I hope this was helpful for you guys. You got a lot going on. I have a few people showing up in there. Um, I'm going to get some love advice cards for you guys since you seem to be needing it. <sighs> There's a lot going on there in the love department, Leos. But also, you know, just in general, you got a higher power that can make your dreams come true, so do it. But there's somebody maybe going to press you for some answers soon or something, or you're feeling pressed. But you have an opportunity for a new life, new beginning, and to put your projects out there. What advice do we have for Leos in love or looking for love? Oh my goodness. There is a spiritual connection. With which one? I'm kidding. These could be, remember, multiple different people. But it says... This relationship has a connection that goes beyond this lifetime. It's intense. And then it says, treasure your loved ones. Appreciate and value people that you love. It's always a good thing. And you guys roll the heart anyway. You guys are lovers. You guys are lovers. Okay, so what else for Leo? One more. I was just going to say, uh, you guys can email me um, and set up a cons consultation. <laughs> just kidding. Ask for help in the situations. You do have some choices going on here, okay, that you might need some help on. So be feel free to ask people for their advice, their help, or whatever, because sometimes you never know. But a lot of times, go with your heart rather than listening to what everybody else has to say because everybody's got opinion and they'll be like oh no or yeah you know but they don't really know but ask the divine for help ask your higher self what's in the best interest for you with regarding these jobs these people these situations that i just spoke about all right leo i love you guys so much thank you so much for joining me um and I'm going to be doing a love reading next, uh, even though this kind of was a combination. It had a lot of other things in it, too, though. Um, so if you haven't subscribed, please be sure to click the bell to get notified of my uploads as they come. Okay, Leo, thank you so much again for joining me. I'm sending you positive energy for all the best. Lots of love. Until next time.